My name is Wesley Catanzaro, and I'm a cartographer and GIS analyst in the field of public health. GIS is software that allows you to represent real-world phenomena, mainly through maps. I've always liked maps. I think they're pretty cool, and I think they're cooler now that I know how to make them. Um, and I think they're pretty awesome tools for just, you know, relating the world around us and processing information and communicating it in a really effective way. You don't have to be a doctor or a nurse to get into public health. You know, there are, there are different subsets of public health, like environmental health, which takes a very interdisciplinary approach and requires a pretty broad understanding of how things relate geographically and spatially. Well, a typical day for me might include going out into the field and doing some field work, surveying the streets for pedestrian environmental quality, determining whether or not these things can be improved upon. For instance, we'll look at how many crosswalks there are at an intersection, or how long the pedestrian is given to cross a particular intersection. We'll look for additional signs at intersections or along the streets which relate to pedestrian safety, whether two people can walk side by side on a street, are there sidewalk obstructions, things like abandoned buildings and graffiti and excess litter keep people from using sidewalks. When you're talking about public health especially, you know, you want to get people out and about walking and encouraging them to get out of their automobiles. So after I conduct the survey and I fill out the forms, I take that information back to the office and I'll uh, input it into the computer using standard programs like Microsoft Access. And then that information is imported into ArcGIS, the main spatial analysis software that GIS analysts use usually. That information can then be mapped, you know, in a very easy to understand uh, fashion by scoring the streets according to the data that we picked out from the field. The mapped area is really what you want the user to spend their time looking at. You know, and the text should inform, but it shouldn't dominate. Somebody can easily look at this map and they can see what needs to be changed and what streets are ranking pretty high in terms of pedestrian quality and which streets don't rank as high, and then that information can be relayed to, you know, the Department of Public Works or, you know, anyone else who's making decisions regarding pedestrian infrastructure. You want to really focus while you're in high school on, you know, those basic math courses and science courses to learn how to write well in a scientific way. If your school offers geography as an elective, you should take that because then you can really start gaining an understanding for that relationship, that spatial relationship between things and how things affect each other in space. I do wish that I had learned how to uh, program when I was in high school um, because a lot of GIS analysts use computer programming to more effectively do their work. For a long time, I haven't really felt like I've had much of an artistic bone in my body, but I think that I've been able to kind of express that um, through maps. I think that it's something that I'm pretty good at, and uh, I've liked what I've done so far with them. You can really make beautiful looking maps that are pleasant to look at, as well as being effective in communicating something about the real world.